Let's talk about uh, Totem for a second. Uh, Totem is from Cirque du Soleil. It traces the fan- fascinating journey of the human species from its original amphibian state to its ultimate desire to fly. The characters evolve on a stage evoking a giant turtle, the symbol of origin for many ancient civilizations. Inspired by many founding myths, Totem illustrates through the a u- visual and acrobatic language the evolutionary progress of the species. Somewhere between science and legend, Totem explores the ties that binds men to other species, his dreams, and his infinite potential. Uh, Totem is playing at the Orange County Great Park from November 21 to December 29th, and tickets start at $60. Full disclosure here, I have never been to a Cirque du Soleil show before or ever, uh, so this is my first show, so I really don't have anything to compare it to. So if you're familiar with... um, well, if you're a uh, big fan of the Cirque du Soleil shows, I really don't know how it compares, but I would imagine uh, just as well. I also brought my six-year-old daughter along and uh, was kind of nervous there. Um, not sure if she was going to be able to make it all the way through. It is about a two-hour show, and fortunately she did. Well, let's get on with the review. I had the privilege to attend opening night at Cirque du Soleil uh, Totem at the Orange County Great Park. My reaction at intermission at the end was shocked amazement. I mean, I've seen my share, fair share of acrobatic acts at circuses and on television, and that's essentially what you know what the core of uh, of these Cirque du Soleil shows are. They're just acrobatic acts. But the difference is that these acts are strung together by story, music, and theatrical events. And here, uh, here the story is the mythology of man. As you enter the theater, you're transported into a swamp environment with a giant turtle shell covering the the entire stage. The show starts when a single spark uh, descends upon the uh, tent and uh, descends upon the the, uh, turtle shell staging. And that spark is um, is in the form of an acrobat. Uh, As the uh, cover of the the, uh, turtle shell is removed, you see uh, various acrobats dressed up as frogs, and they begin doing this incredible sequence on the parallel bars. The main stage is circular, and the seats, uh, it's almost like theater in the round, with the exception of a secondary stage, which is in the back. Uh, It resembles kind of a half egg shell, and on here, high definition video is shot on that stage, so it appears that that you're on uh, the beach, and the waves come in and out, and um, it's a very cool visual effect. Let's see. And behind them are uh, these tall blades of grass, which uh, behind it is a is the live band that's going on. Fantastic night. Throughout the night, um, it comes to close to about a two-hour show. Uh, the audience is treated to some of the finest acrobats out there. Uh, you'll see parallel bars, rings, jugglers on unicycles, incredible strength acts, and on and on. But what makes these acts better and worthy of the price of admission, because this is an expensive show, Uh, There are the extras. For example, the Ring Trio Act featuring Finnish aerialists Aerial ring artist Oli Turkle, uh, they tell a story about two beach studs trying to impress a pretty girl. Uh, the two acts that really stood out for me that night, uh, the first one was one that really brought down the house. And uh, there was kind of an alien segment that occurred during the show. And these uh, two girls come out, and they're basically spinning carpets, uh, or s- carpet squares on their hands and feet. Now, I know that doesn't sound really special, but but this is what uh, Cirque du Soleil does best. It tells a story. It starts off simple, and then as the act moves further and further, it gets more and more complicated. So maybe when you start, you think to yourself, boy, maybe I could do that. I could probably spin a rug on my hand. And then they're sitting on chairs, and they're doing it, uh, laying back on a chair, uh, and they're spinning four carpet squares each, uh, one on each hand and one on each foot. And then they begin juggling it, and you're saying, boy, I think I could spin a rug a rug on my hand, but I don't think I could juggle the rugs like they do. And then they're juggling it back and forth. And then finally at the end, when you think that the act is done, oh no, they bring out even more. Uh, something truly impossible. One of the uh, one of the acrobats lays down, um, puts one puts her left leg up, while the other uh, acrobat climbs upon uh, that leg and play, and basically that leg um, begins supporting the back of the uh, other acrobat's neck. 
and then they're holding hands for stability. And so basically they have three limbs available and they begin in this really awkward position, start spinning these carpets on their legs and arms. Uh, and it's just, you know, you're thinking this is impossible. Someone's going to get hurt. And that's just how it goes. You start simple with something like, hey, maybe uh, maybe I could do that. And then you move up and up and up. You escalate things until they do something truly impossible. Uh, let's see. The second act was a, just a simple trapeze act uh, featuring a boy and a girl. And they tell a simple story. Uh, these two, This boy and this girl, uh, not really not really like each other, but they kind of begin flirting. And throughout this entire event is just their way of flirting that ultimately leads, leads into love. So how did my six-year-old do? My six-year-old daughter was absolutely mesmerized by each act. It's really easy for kids to uh, become bored and, be, and get distracted, but she was hanging on to everything that was going on in that, um, in that, in the show. Uh, she she loved the uh, the way they would dress. People were looking like frogs, and monkeys, and cavemen. Uh, she liked the clown acts, although some of the clowns were a little bit scary, a little overdone on the. Uh, um, on the makeup there, but uh, you know, Cirque du Soleil is a really great event. It's going on at the Orange County Great Park. That's where the El Toro, old El Toro Air Force Base used to be. Uh, they got a giant uh, orange balloon there that you can go up and down on. But they have also got the uh, Cirque du Soleil traveling tent, and uh, it's a great show to go to. Highly recommend it. I give it a eight out of ten. Um, it is a little bit expensive, but if you can go to Groupon or Living Social, there you can find a deal here and there. And uh, yeah, so there we go. That was Totem uh, over at the Great Park. Uh, go out and see it. Bring your whole family.